Hey, I'm Elliot Seldner, one of the owners of Fair Share Farm. And I'm Emma Hendel, the other owner of Fair Share Farm. We're here in Pofftown, North Carolina, where we grow on almost two acres, and a lot of that is undercover. So we sell our microgreens, lettuce, tomatoes, edible flowers to restaurants, and then we bring a wider variety of seasonal produce as well to our farmers markets. About 60 to 70% goes straight to restaurants and 25, 30% goes to the farmers market. Well, starting in college, um, I became interested in agriculture. After graduation, I started apprenticing and interning and working on farms for five or six years uh, until we started Fair Share Farm in 2014. We've been running the farm full-time since 2014. Myself and Emma's come on full-time probably 2017 to help run it together. We found that focusing on quality of product and what other folks weren't doing was most useful and that's why we sort of fell into that restaurant groove first with microgreens and then lettuce and our other products. And that's worked out to be more profitable for us because we haven't needed to offer the spectrum of seasonal produce to satisfy a CSA. We found the CSA to be a lot of work for not the right amount of return. It just didn't fit what we were interested in, what we wanted to be doing. Luckily, we had some guidance early on and helped steer us towards selling greens. Um, we always knew we wanted to do lettuce and other like baby greens and stuff like that in part because of the Quick Cuts Harvester. So we just pursued the things that we've been passionate about and that's what we've been able to sell the, the easiest as a result. We grow our lettuce under cover. That helps us maintain um, clockwork style timing. Like a lot of modern businesses, we try to run it just in time, and we need to be able to plant, cultivate, irrigate, harvest on our schedule. Simple and cost-effective improvements like the Caterpillar tunnels help us stay on a schedule that's our choice. That makes things like taking a day and a half off Saturday and Sunday for the whole crew feasible. That's what lets us offer paid time off for our crew. That's what lets us leave the farm. Because a schedule gives you mental space to then tweak and improve the system. It might be the same lettuce year over year, but we're always looking, is the spacing right? Is the timing right? These sorts of things continue to steal our interest. The Caterpillar tunnels are really important because they're allowing us to grow year-round and harvest lettuce every week regardless of the weather. The cost of building the structure versus the revenue generated by selling one crop more than pays for the structure put up in one season. So if you take that then and say any given spot can crop lettuce five to six times per year, if that's what you wanted to do, you could then think about how profitable then uh, the space underneath the Caterpillar Tunnel really becomes. Opportunities came with microgreens and we applied uh, what we knew from using the quick cuts to the micros and in a very similar fashion, we just set up sort of a bed of microgreens in a line and goes zzz, like it that. It was a why not? Like, why not? Why can't we? It really is a full-time farm. It really does support us, and we can't do it on our own anymore either. It's our whole life and livelihood. Simply by being closer to our sales and closer to our customers, and taking the time from harvest to sale and shrinking that, we know that we're getting a better quality product to our customer. 
I like customer service, man. I like growing great quality produce and, and delivering that and getting positive feedback. That's why I do it. We both enjoy walking around the property and talking about what's next and, and enjoying what we've, what we've done and created. And so that's, that's really great. I think that if we have more small-scale farmers, the opportunity for research and improvement of these systems, it just increases with each person and each business that gets into it. Our mission is to grow the, the best food we possibly can and to feed as many people as we can. And hopefully in doing so, we get to make money and our crew gets to make money. You know, and alongside with that, it's to bring joy to people's lives. And with fundamentals like that, it's been very easy for us to succeed, you know, because we try to stick to our values in that regard. Yeah, that's been key to our success.